Hi there, it's Sandy Alnock, artist and Bible journaler here on YouTube, and today I'm working once again in my workbook. And on each of the workbook pages, you may have noticed there's little prompts. Sometimes they give you instructions as to what to do on the page. Sometimes they're a prompt for what to journal in the empty space left on the page. In this particular one, I'm going to be working on making a quilted page out of this and just taking watercolor pencils and scribbling in all these different blocks. And if you were to do this in your Bible, all you have to do is draw some lines and then start filling them in. I'm using analogous colors. Analogous colors are next to each other on the color wheel. So it's all blues and blue greens into a little bit of blue purple types of colors. It's going to feel very harmonious and be very related to each other which means then that the verse itself, when I put the verse in there, that's going to take the attention because I don't want the rest of it to necessarily take the attention. But there's other times when you might want to have, I don't know, a crazy verse about the amazingness of God and the abundance and just do this in rainbow colors. Or you can put little patterns in each one of these little blocks and draw little patterns in. I'm gonna draw in a few patterns, but I'm gonna keep mine in that analogous color frame. Now that all the boxes are filled in with color, I can put some sticky notes around the outside edges of each one. And notice that the scribbled lines that I did didn't even go up to the outside edge, which is not gonna be a problem. Because once I start doing a little bit of work with a baby wipe, this is going to fill in the entire area. Just gonna tap over it, rub it lightly with a baby wipe. And depending on what brand of watercolor pencils you use, you might want one that's a little drier or a little wetter. And I say that because some that don't really water out really well might need something a little bit wetter. If you use one of the, I guess, pricier brands, we, we get what we pay for, right? It, pantyhose as well as art supplies. <laughs> you, you'll end up with a little easier work to do when you're trying to get some blending to go. If you were to try this with a brush, you would probably end up in a little bit of trouble because you're going to get a lot of water on the page. Here I can keep using the same sticky notes for a number of these and get a lot of use out of that sticky note before I put it in the recycle bin. So I don't like to use things too much if I don't have to and uh, create more garbage. So I'm going to try to use these as much as possible. You can also turn those sticky notes different directions because a sticky on the back stays sticky a little longer than the edge will stay nice because it starts getting kind of wrinkly and wiggly. But you can turn it and put the adhesive in a different direction and then use the other side of the sticky note. So I'm going to speed it up here a little bit and we won't go through every single one of these blocks but I wanted you to start to see how this develops and you get really nice clean edges when you use a sticky note to mask off the outside edges of these boxes. You could do an entire page like this, even with the scriptures in there, if you choose really light colors. So it's up to you whether or not you want to do a full page, if you have an interleave Bible and you want to do a full page in that, or if you want to do it right over top of the scriptures, or just do down one edge of your Bible just down in, in the column. And to make this look quilted, I have decided I'm going to do my own stitching. It was kind of fun acting like a little st stitching machine. I was, I was a little sewing machine with my pen. This is just a white gel pen. You could take a dark pen if that works better with your colors and just put the all those little stitching along the outside edges. You can do a zigzag stitch like I did. You could do a dotted line. You could make little X's and pretend you're doing cross stitching. Lots of fun things you can do. And then I took the verse that's on the page on the right hand side because each one of these pages in the Bible Journaling Made Simple Workbook has a verse there for you. And I'm just writing the verse in some of the different blocks in watercolor pencil. If you're doing this portion, it wouldn't have to be watercolor pencil. You could use regular pencil on top of watercolor. And then I decided to add some patterns into some of them. And I'm doing tone on tone types of patterns. Stripes, polka dots, little lines, sometimes at an angle, sometimes straight. 
just to make it feel more quilted in all of the empty ones that don't have any words in them. And sometimes they do them in blue, sometimes do them in purple, and just create a little bit more interest with different patterns inside each one of those. It's a really fun and relaxing kind of page to do and would work with lots and lots of different verses. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, click that like button, give it a little thumbs up, and I hope to see you sometime in the Facebook group for Bible Journaling Made Simple and share your work so we can see what you're making. Thanks so much and have a blessed day.